Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is one last really quick video from March 18th. It's 9.03 p.m. Um, our sister Tessa had sent me this um, warning for anybody that comes down with COVID-19 symptoms. The World Health Organization now officially recommends to avoid taking ibuprofen for COVID-19 symptoms. Well, I told her, that, <laughs> well, I'm glad that no plague's coming into my house because that's all I have. Basically, I do have some tramadol for, you know, pain that that doesn't help. But it keeps me awake. So, I mean, I think I do have a little... I. I might still have some Tylenol from when, uh, anyway, I might still have some. That's a fever reducer. But really, you don't want to reduce your fever until it gets over a certain number. Because um, that's what helps your body um, kill the virus. Okay, so this says, real quick, I'll read a little bit of it. Uh, the World Health Organization recommended Tuesday, and let's see, when was this dated? I can't tell. Just said Tuesday. Oh, I'm sorry, here it is, 17th of March. So this was, uh, what is this, 18th, just yesterday. All right, said Tuesday that people suffering COVID-19 symptoms avoid taking ibuprofen after French officials warned that anti-inflammatory drugs could worsen effects of the virus. Well, now, isn't that weird? No other virus got worse from... Anti-inflammatory. Okay, so that would include ibuprofen, um... Oh, what's the blue one called? Naproxen sodium? Isn't that an anti-inflammatory? What about aspirin? Isn't that an anti-inflammatory? Might want to look it all up. Uh, personally, uh, I don't know what to believe anymore. So I guess they just want you to take Tylenol. I don't think that's an anti-inflammatory. It's just harder on your liver. All right. The warning by French Health Minister Olivier Varin, Varin, however you say that, followed a recent study in the Lancet Medical Journal that hypothesized that an enzyme boosted by anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen could facilitate and worsen COVID-19 infections. That's interesting. Well, if you're going to make a virus, you might as well make it where all your anti-inflammatory drugs are going to make it worse. Hmm. Sounding more and more believable. You all so stupid. I'm talking about the powers that be. I tell you what, they're all so stupid. They think they're going to kill us all off with their viruses and their man-made this and their man-made that. And then they're going to they're running under their dumbs left and right. If you noticed how many CEOs of this and that and the other have resigned just all of a sudden up and quit. They're going under the dumbs, into their dumbs, underground military bases. That's what they are. They're hiding out because they... <laughs> Okay, this is not time for a rant. I need to speak to the Lord. All right. In the meantime, we recommend using rather P 
paracetamol. And do not use ibuprofen as a self-medication. Oh, uh, that sounds like something you'd have to get from the doctor. Paracetamol? I'm not even sure what that is. P-A-R-A-C-E-T-A-M-O-L. He added that if ibuprofen had been prescribed by the healthcare professionals, then of course that's up to them. His comments came after Varan, that doctor, sent a tweet cautioning that the use of ibuprofen and similar anti-inflammatory drugs could be, quote, an aggravating factor, unquote, in COVID-19 infections. In the case of fever, take paracetamol, he wrote. The French minister stressed that patients already being treated with anti-inflammatory drugs should ask advice from their doctor. Paracetamol must be taken strictly according to the recommended dose because too much of it can damage the liver. Let's look that up, shall we? I have never heard of it. Let's see if I can spell it right. What is para... Oh, <laughs> very first word up. How about that? Paracetamol... Oh. <laughs> also known as acetaminophen isn't that Tylenol yep <laughs> why didn't they just say that and APAP also known as APAP paracetamol also known as acetaminophen and APAP is a medication used to treat pain and fever. It is typically used for mild to moderate pain relief. Paracetamol is generally safe as recommended at recommended doses. Okay, so there you go. Get you some Tylenol. Have it on hand. Good grief. Or acetaminophen. Because it comes in many different store brands as well okay i'm ending this here maybe that helped somebody i don't <laughs> i just find it comical that um i've never heard of it called that <laughs> as a nurse as a patient <laughs> as of anything i never heard it called that Okay, maybe they prefer to call it that over in France. <laughs> now I'm getting giddy because I'm really super tired. So um, with that, I'm just going to say bye for now. And maybe I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, good night or whatever. <laughs> bye for now.